Hello everyone and welcome back to the Lassoon tribe here on the experimental island where we are messing around and making a lot of mistakes and having a lot of fun with niche version 0.1.7. We are in a state of constant flux as the early access version is getting hint after hint, experiment after experiment, update after update added into it. So we're jumping in with an experimental island that I hope you guys won't get too terribly attached to if something dramatic happens to it like the poor Jaleep tribe but we're having quite a bit of fun and I am learning very quickly that one of the worst genes that you can now have is actually the hemophilia gene that causes your creatures when wounded to excessively bleed and the animal takes more damage from wounds if this gene is pregnant in, is present not pregnant in both slots but we're finding that's really awful because it actually makes it so you can't lick yourself normally if the creatures get wounded now they can lick themselves and stop the bleeding and stop the damage now, when they're heavily bleeding like that, it doesn't seem you can lick yourself and heal that. I'm not sure if that's just a glitch or not, but it's such a powerful negative because it creates an open bleeding wound that causes the creature to die that we are actually trying to get normal blood clotting into the family genes and remove all of the hemophilia. So that's one of our big goals this time around. But otherwise, story-wise, we're also enjoying watching as Almond watches after all of his children, primarily sons. He had a a lot of sons, uh, two sons, and one beautiful daughter, little Mila, child of Miri. And they are kind of watching the edges here where there is some rustling in the grasses. This is a much smaller island than the other starter island that we had for the Jaleep tribe. And I feel we should be able to conquer it and move on pretty quickly to the medium island where hopefully the procedural generation will give me a tree again. I miss our trees. And we will gain so much in the challenges over there. But I am kind of curious about what's rustling over in the bushes. So we're gonna try to figure out what's rustling. We're going to admire the fact we have so many different berry bushes and then we will be moving on to the next island as soon as we finish exploring this one and picking out the perfect genetics from our tribe this round. So right now we actually have two sisters, S. Messi and Isko, who really 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 are identical. Look at that. I had never noticed before that they basically look like clones but they are going to be having babies. So we have two sisters having babies and look at that. Mikori is sitting between them. There's a strong family resemblance in this lineup ladies I'm really I'm seeing it are you guys seeing this this is amazing so I'm really curious now if Messi and Isco are going to have babies that look like them and Mikori and we're just going to have that kind of lineup down across the board. So the mate of Isco and the mate of Messi actually just passed away. He was a unexpected male who popped in named Tankir. He dashed in between our tribe while he was trying to escape a predator that we then took out but he was quite wounded from it so even though he arrived with some unique immunity genetics that we really wanted to mix into our family Family, we weren't able to do too much with him before he passed away. He was, however, able to have about five children, it seems, because you can drag it. I love this family tree. Being able to drag him down and go, okay, one, two, three, and then he has two more pregnant females uh, who are about to give birth. So let's go ahead and have them have their babies and see what they look like. Are they going to be clones? Oh! my gosh she's beautiful she's glorious i love her she's one of my new favorites lako lako look at you <gasps> yay and you have normal blood clotting i don't even care about the no pawn recessive blind eyes at this point she's so pretty ah oh, i kind of want to name her like something after diamonds how are you guys i asked you guys this last time but i'm still wondering how are you handling the names because i feel like having the fun generated names is really exciting but i don't want to name them normal things like we have almond but i'm becoming more more on the side of wanting to name my creatures names that sound like they come from the game names that i'm more familiar with after all of these months of playing niche so she's really beautiful though i kind of want to give her like lasso lace lace i kind of want to name her lace actually you know what i'm gonna make uh lassie maybe lacy Lacey with two eyes. There we go. That feels like it'll work. I think that Isco is so enchanted with her young daughter here. She's so beautiful that she gave her a very lovely name. So wonderful. Little girl named Lacey. She has H and B immunity. 
And Rokir will actually be a good mate for her because he has A and F immunity. So already we, we at least have one set of male and female there that we know would endure. So that's a good thing. And I wonder what we're going to do now. So let's come over and check out her cousin slash half sister. Is Isri. So Is Isri thankfully displays normal blood clotting. She also has big body. So she has a little bit more strength. She does have no paw though. No paw and runner's leg. So can she collect anything then? She has one collecting from runner's leg to balance out her no paw, thankfully. And then, oh, I guess we need to get large ears in. What am I doing? Large ears would be wonderful to pull in as well. I've been trying to bring poison fangs back, but it appears that the ram horns have really kind of thrown that off quite severely. So let's actually get in. Oh, I can't get in big ears yet because we haven't found any savanna or desert fields. Oh, I totally forgot about that. All right, we might as well try to bring in big body for now, since you can either have like lean body or you can have a normal body or big body. So big body would be a great base trait to make sure that all of them have. It looks like most of them do though, now that I think about it. Do you have normal body, big body? Yeah, a lot of them have big body, but not all of them. So we'll focus on just trying to bring in big body for the moment. All right. Now that we've looked over and admired the new babies though, I do think we have some very curious young males wanting to know what the rustling in the bushes is. All right, and it looks like it was just a bunny. So thankfully for little Kier Kuk uh, Kukuku here, he's not going to get in trouble. And Kier Kukuku, uh, is your father Almond? Yes, it is. So we're actually going to name him, um, I kind of want to name him something to do with his antlers. Uh, Anku, let's name him Anku. There we go. So a little bit easier for me to say. It's just kind of following my own naming scheme. So yeah, I'm just curious about your guys' naming schemes too so that I can figure out what feels right. All right, and then S. Messi is actually meant to be a scout because she has no paw and she has A immunity. Uh, so actually her child <laughs> turned out pretty healthy considering she does not have the best genetics. But I'm glad that we bred her because it was very important to try to offer that male a chance to pass on his immunity genes. As you can see, she's not able to collect this, but she can at least glance into the bushes and try to help out that way. All right, and then I think that Isko is enchanted with her daughter, so she's probably going to stay nearby and gather up berries. Rokir over here can help guard uh, his father's bones. No, no, I'm going to move him over to help out with the bunnies. I'm actually going to move Rasi over here so she can help out with this berry bush. And little Rana is very young, but she already can help out with berries. She's got a couple berry collecting skills. All of our little ones know how to contribute. And then we have Pakar, who I actually really like. I, I'm kind of in love with him. And I wonder if Pakar... <gasps> Bakar and Lacey could have a child, you guys. I don't know why, but I really love just the beautiful white fur and trying to get all sorts of, oh, white fur and black mane. Don't you think that would be lovely with violet or yellow eyes? Very fun. So we'll look into that too. We won't let Pakar stray too far. We'll keep him here and help him mostly collect up berries. His father, I was actually saving up moves on. So I'll move, oh, well, he found a rock. Good job, good job, Almond, you found a rock. Very suspicious rock. So we'll go ahead and keep a good eye on that rock. And then Miri can help out by clearing some of this area too. Little Mila can gather up some berries as well. At first, I really thought having our, having, uh, is that gonna be a predator? I have a feeling it's gonna be a predator actually. Let's clear some of the grass around us if we need to fight then. But when we first jumped into this update, I actually felt like it was way too hard to have the creatures only be able to move a couple times a turn and to have the food be taken away per number of creatures we had. But now I'm really finding, because there's no penalty for moving anymore, there's no using up the food for when we move or for when we perform an action, it is quite balanced. It's a lot more balanced than I thought it would be. We're actually able to balance out exploring and gathering food a lot more carefully than I thought. All right, we'll go ahead. Ducro, he's a very suspicious little guy. Unfortunately, he has no paw, so we're going to call him S. Ducro. And there we go. I didn't press space, which is a very nice thing. And then we have Anemiana, who's kind of got quite the, the big name there. I kind of want to rename her um, to like Sandy or something like that, something short and sweet. Uh, Anasi, let's name her An. Anna C, like that, Anna C. That's interesting because the controls 
uh, for like WASDA, the, the, the W-A-S-D keys on the keyboard also move the camera. You kind of scooch around while you're renaming the creatures. That's probably something they're going to fix when in the, some point in the future. All right, and Kiravan, their father, can stay up here. I guess technically he could take on a mate, but we really don't need a mate. There's another nest. I forgot there was a nest here the whole time. I feel ridiculous. We will definitely, definitely research that, or like we'll definitely look at that properly. All right, so I'm actually excited for Lacey to grow up and possibly take Pakar as a mate and see what kind of beautiful babies they may have. Let's go ahead and go to the next day. Everybody's still doing good? Yeah, little Lacey, she's so pretty. Okay, we'll scooch her over so she can help gather berries. Isko, her mother, probably just really thinks her daughter is so stunning and won't wander very far. So Isko doesn't really have to go anywhere. Rogue here, I'm going to scooch over. So he'll go down there. We'll have this one gather up berries here. She'll gather up berries here. And then Rossi, I'm suspicious about this spot because I don't see the berries being eaten. So it could be a bunny because there's a bunny burrow right here or it could be a predator. So we're going to handle this mysterious rustling grass very carefully. Also, what the heck? <laughs> Rook here, you can't be a friend of the bunnies. That's not how this works. That's not how this works, little one. You can't you can't just sit there and snuggle with the bunnies. I want to rename him now to something that means like bunny snuggler. So Rochier, maybe. To give him a softer name than Kier. So let's name him Rochier. There we go. Bunny snuggler. Uh I'm gonna make his little I'm gonna make his his little icon blue to indicate he has a very gentle personality. Just for the the story of it. Look at him cuddle that bunny. Or maybe it's like boring its eyes and self into his brain. Who knows? Another bunny snuggler. Ah, oh boy. We always, every now and then we end up with a bunny snuggler in the, in the tribe. I don't mind. I can understand where it comes from. All right, now I'm a little bit concerned about this Russell, Russell, Russell that we have over here. And see, the danger is, look at Almond. He has the hemophilia gene. So if he gets injured, he's going to die. <laughs> Not right away, but slow and lingering and painful. And it's horrible to see. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. Um, I'm going to have him step a little closer. Hey, where do you think you're going, bunny? All right, could I have Roshir? His bunny was snuggling with him. Okay. I don't think that Anku, his cousin, is really going to care, so we'll go ahead and eat the bunny. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, sort of explore these spots. Oh, it's a bunny! Okay, I feel a lot less worried. We've actually almost explored the whole island already, you guys. I'm sort of in shock, but that means that we'll be ready to move on to the next island very, very soon. Let's go ahead and gather up these berries. Mila is just kind of, she kind of has taken over this nest, even at her age. And then over here near Cuckoo is sort of trying to make sure he doesn't get himself eaten. I should gather up these berries though. Oh, and then I should have gathered up berries from each bush. And the reason for doing that is if the next turn starts raining, then we would only renew the, these berries, but all the berries will grow back on all bushes when you, it rains. So we should probably gather a little from each berry bush rather than all of them from one when there's more on another right next to us at a time. All right, and as Ducro, all right. Oh, there's a berry bush and a bunny. All right. Can we get it? Oh my gosh. There's another berry bush. There's so many berry bushes. We are discovering so much, you guys. All right. This is exciting. And the nest. I promised we would investigate the nest because I didn't want to forget about it. So it turns out all of the rustling on all of our sides are actually just a bunch of bunnies. So I feel pretty reassured about that. And let's go ahead and move on to the next day then. I can't wait for Lassie to be old enough to be with Pakar. Ah, oh, they're just a couple of my favorites already. All right, there we go. So next day, this is actually, oh, I'm feeling the ease. <laughs> At first it felt really, really difficult to, to be able to handle this much and get this far, but now I'm feeling how it's like, oh, this isn't so bad after all. Those may be my famous last words in a few minutes here though, <laughs> knowing, knowing how things have gone in the past. All right, and little Miri is going to help investigate this area. Almond is going to help investigate this area. S. Messi, who's one of our scouts, should definitely be primarily focused on investigating. 
Anku is actually old enough to have children. Um, and S. Messi actually has normal blood clotting and she doesn't have blind eyes. She has double immunity, but that's not something we always have to worry about. So I think Anku, who's very handsome actually, might come over and potentially convince her uh, to take him as a mate at some point. So they're kind of keeping an eye on each other, but we're already up to 17 creatures. We have our very gentle little Roshier. In fact, maybe we'll award him another another blue gem for gentleness if he ends up with another bunny in his arms. So we'll leave him where he's at right now. There we go. And all oh, these bunnies, no, get away from my berries. And Picard is like desperately grabbing the berries off the bush to try to, to save them from the bunnies. We actually have a plague of bunnies. I didn't think that we would run into a lot of issues, but we actually do have a bit of a plague of bunnies. I'm sort of in shock about that. So yeah, didn't anticipate that either, but it is definitely an issue. All right, so then we'll come back here. Near Cuckoo has already gathered up what he can. We'll investigate over here. Kiravan. Uh, Kiravan, what am I going to do with you? Have you moved down here and start clearing away more of those pieces? Little Lacey, uh, she can help out with some of the berry collecting. Isko, her mother, I don't think Isko would really go that far. So we'll gather up these berries. And Mikori, Mikori, what am I going to do with you? Again, I don't think I would have them breed just yet. I don't want to wait till our creatures are too old. Still in all our berries? But uh, we're up to 17 already, and we have to remember that the food is now what dictates how this all works out. What are you doing? We really do have a bunny plague. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then Anna C, who enjoys the sea, is over here. And then S. Ducro is over here. We're going to have to just clear away all of the spots and keep an eye out for these bunnies. We honestly have a bunny plague on our hands. My goodness. Uh-oh. Well, that's not a bunny. That's definitely not a bunny. <laughs> That's something very, very different than a bunny. And reminds me why we actually do need to have like a bigger body. And maybe I, I really need to get rid of that blood clotting. The blood clotting issue, I think, is the most dangerous of all of the things that we've got right now. All right, let's handle these bunnies. Isiri, I think, was not put up with these bunnies. She would go ahead and gather what she can. Picar would still be desperately, like, trying to collect the berries to protect them. Mikori also probably wouldn't put up with these bunnies. Lacey is getting a little bit older now, so she can go ahead and help out with the berry bushes. Her mother, Isko. Hmm. Is Isko a good fighter? So, yes, yeah, she's actually one of our best fighters. But I don't know if Isko... Can she get over there in time? She's just gonna get over there and like die for uh, get away from our food. All these bunnies. That's just a rock. Oh, and the predator may still be waiting for us. But all right, we'll gather this up. I think Isko would go because even though she wants to stay with her precious, beautiful daughter, who really is quite lovely, I think that she would go to try to help out the tribe because it's just children and teens, much younger, much younger members of the tribe left over here. So I could see how she'd be a little nervous about that. Was it just a bunny again? No, we still have something hiding over here. Pretty sure that's going to be a predator. <laughs> I need more warriors. I don't really think I have anybody that I would, I would command to be a warrior. Like Kiravan here only has normal attack. He only has one attack even. And Nukirku only has one attack. We really need to ramp up the attack ability. I'm pretty sure that's a predator too. <laughs> We're just sort of like carefully not moving when it comes to having some predators in the area. Miri's gonna help out with exploring. Almond is going to help out with exploring. Uh, S. Messi. I think S. Messi is going to help out. She found a rock. Good job, S. Messi. Uh, and Anku, I think, would try to kind of keep an eye on her. And I think these two are a little bit flirty towards each other. So I'm going to kind of make both of their gemstones. Uh, oh, my goodness. And because he is a male, his corresponding color is going to be on the other side. What? I'm going to have to play with this. All right. So his second gemstone changes the bottom color. There we go. That's the kind of like they're sending flirty signals at one another. So I know to line them up. And then Roshier. Oh, look at what Roshier found. Another berry bush. All right, maybe we can risk having some more children because we have plenty of food and lots of berry bushes. All right, let's see if the predator decides to come on out. I don't have any fighters, so this could be very tense. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a predator. 
So I, I think if I'm just very careful, we won't have to make a move on him until I can get some better fighters. All right, oh, and there's Lisey. She'll come over, I guess she, she doesn't have a problem with eating bunny. So she'll gather up the bunny. And then we can actually have Isiri gather up some of these berries. Pakar, I think, is very distracted and gathering up what berries he can. Um, he would be, he's gonna be such a good mate for Lacey. I'm very excited to see that matchup. Mila, I think Mila is going to come over and try to reach her distant uncle or whatever new Kirkir is at this point. And I'm gonna let him continue to gather up berries. Kirvan can help clear away some of these grasses. And then Esdukro, let's see, your sister can do this. And then I, I should probably not actually have Esdukro do anything. He's got pretty good attack. In fact, unfortunately, he's, he's got three attacks. So I shouldn't say unfortunately, but he's like one of our best bets at being able to fight anything. But if I wait and let him rest up, then he'll have four moves. Four moves instead of just two moves. And he can hopefully fight off what I'm pretty sure is a predator over here. And Mikori, same thing. But I'm going to have her move over here and we'll wait. So I'll start lining up some of my warriors. And I think I'm going to actually go ahead. And if they're warriors, then the ones on the left and right, I will change their colors. All right. Oh, this interesting. His only goes to orange. And hers goes to red. What does that mean? That's very fascinating. He has orange on him. All right, well, I'll just have to remember that that is supposed to represent a warrior as well. Um, Estukro, actually, you could take her as a mate. And you guys have, uh, no, you guys do share H. So that's a little, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to look into who we may potentially pair off. That may not be a pairing that I want to see. Reina, do you have any attack? You have two attack. I mean, again, I could probably have her come up. It's better than nothing. There we go. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I feel a bit more prepared for handling a predator that may be nearby then. And Anku can come on over and he can continue. Aha, uh -huh, another berry bush. Wonderful, continue exploring. Now these two can start making flirty eyes at one another, I'm sure. So we are really tackling this island very quickly. It's only taken us a couple of generations this time. Uh, I think little Miri is going to come over. She's not so little. I mean, she's a she's a mother of three, but I just still feel like she's little Miri. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to handle this just fine. This is very fascinating. All right, we are only in generation four. We have a lot of creatures now, and we should hopefully be able to finish exploring this island and move on to the middle island in no time. And I'm pretty happy that we're able to keep the population so low because it will be a little less painful to have to move on to the next island with this group. So thank you guys so much for joining me as we continue exploring with our experimental tribe. And I'm very excited to share so many of the new updates with you guys guys as soon as they come out in the future too. So we'll hopefully take on some of the predators, continue to breed out the blood clotting issues, and start breeding in some more offensive attacks because now we're really getting to the point where we need to just be able to like knock out and take out a predator and any other threat as quickly as possible because once they start sticking around and we send multiple creatures in to get attacked and then everybody's just bleeding to death, it just cuts through our tribe very quickly. It really is quite devastating to have those fights. All right, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.